New Zealand, a New Zealand glacial shrinking fast, picking up speed rapidly. The country's biggest glacier is said to be melting at the fastest rate in recorded history. Wellington, New Zealand. New Zealand's biggest glacier is melting at its fastest pace in recent history, a scientist reported Thursday. The Tasman Glacier on South Island was approximately 18 miles long in 1990, with virtually no lake at its front edge. Massey University Glacier expert Martin Brook said, but now new measurements are showing the glacier is only 14 miles long. It's retreated four miles in that short time space. Meanwhile, a lake that has formed next to the glacier is now 4.4 miles long, 1.2 miles wide, and at least 800 feet deep, he said. Despite global warming since the 1850s, the glacier had been protected and somewhat insulated from the sun's heat by its cover of rock debris, but eventually a lake started to form, Brooks said. And now the lake is now eating away at the glacier quickly. The ice cliff at the glacier's front edge is receding at a rate of approximately 590 feet a year, its melt rate greatly aided by the lake water. As the glacial lake enlarges, it will speed up the glacier's melt to between 1,650 feet to 2,640 feet a year, the scientist said. The deeper the lake, the faster the retreat of the glacier. But theoretically, the glacier will not disappear completely, at least not right away, because it can only shrink for another 5.6 miles before the lake hits the side of the mountains and cannot expand any further. There will always be, or at least there will be a few kilometers of it, unless global warming gets to be too hot or too warm. But the glacier is going to be a whole lot smaller, he said. There's certainly a lot of things that go on at the interface where glacier ice meets the lake or the water. We don't quite understand yet. And besides this one glacier, other glaciers on South Island's Central Alps also are retreating rapidly, picking up pace, melted by warmer temperatures and lower snowfall levels. This has to do with global warming and worldwide climate change. And yes, global warming is real. Climate change is real. It's already happening. Some places it doesn't hardly rain anymore. Severe drought. Other places it rains too much. The earth has become unbalanced. It's out of equilibrium. From global warming, from humankind's activities, and the burning of fossil fuels, which is still increasing at a faster and faster rate. In fact, Global warming, climate change, could very well be much worse than anybody even thinks, or can imagine, or even knows. Even the scientists don't know exactly. Anyway, these are more signs, last days, end times, whatever you want to call them. There is a new world coming. 
Jesus Christ, God, and all the heavenly host, they're coming back. These are more signs.